see you. Okay. <laughs> I'm Alice McNeil, reading specialist at Garfield Elementary School in Ward 8. First, thank you to the council for holding this hearing at a time where I, a teacher, can actually participate. This is my fourth time signing up to testify and the first time when I can actually attend, as the hearings are usually during my contract hours when I'm teaching children at school. I'm excited to share some of my thoughts with the council on teacher turnover and how to begin to effectively tackle the record teacher turnover in DC schools. Teacher turnover is at crisis levels within DCPS. At Garfield, we are currently missing a third grade humanities teacher, fourth grade math teacher, art teacher, librarian, and music teacher. These are essential subjects that our students are missing. This also puts an additional strain on the teachers who are here during an already difficult year as COVID is still very much present and lack of instructional time due to over testing remains an issue. We are stretched too thin trying to cover these extra duties to give children the education they are entitled to, as well as just physically keep them safe with adult supervision at all times. The WTU contract expired over three years ago and is headed to arbitration. Yes, I'm asking that the council exercise its oversight to make sure we are never in this situation again. However, a valid contract is the floor, the very minimum attempt to address the highest teacher turnover rate in the nation. We need to be fairly compensated, have more planning time, and have fair and efficient grievance processes. However, there are other concrete steps that council can take immediately that would keep teachers in our schools. First, restore COVID leave. Teachers are indoors without a mask mandate and without weekly asymptomatic testing. Inevitably, many of us will test positive for COVID and one infection wipes out all or nearly all of our annual leave. We will have to take unpaid leave while recovering from one COVID infection or be forced to come into school buildings when we are sick. Secondly, end impact. American University found DCPS's evaluation system to be racially biased and that both teachers and school leaders interviewed, quote, perceive the high stakes and anxiety producing environment may cause them or others to lead DCPS. To continue, many teachers and school leaders perceive that impact created an unhealthy environment of distrust, fear, and competitiveness in schools that trickles down into the classroom. These themes held true across teacher effectiveness ratings, teacher race, as well as ward. I can personally attest to these findings. I have taught in other districts, and there was more collaboration between teachers as well as support from school leaders instead of the divisive and individualistic school community that the competitive nature of impact creates. Despite these findings, impact continues to be used even when we have other viable options. In fact, the WTU Impact Committee met throughout the summer of 2021 to review successful and collaborative teacher development and evaluation tools from other jurisdictions. We have suggestions prepared and ready for implementation. Teachers are professionals and should be treated as such. We must be able to have a say in our evaluation system. We also need to stop the over-testing. A second grader in DCPS may take, must take three different literacy assessments at the beginning of the year middle of the year and then again at the end of the year. This does not include mid-year unit assessments and um, end of unit assessments and controversial RCTs and foundations are phonics program assessments. The seven or eight year old child must repeat these assessments three times a year and that's only for one subject. There's also separate assessments for social studies, math and science. Testing grades, meaning third and up, must take these school-based assessments as well as park and ANET assessments. We're losing valuable instructional time because students are constantly and unnecessarily being assessed. Each time an assessment is taking place, this means a student is not learning. We all lose at least one day of actual teaching, and that is if the test is implemented within the whole group. Many of these assessments require a teacher to sit down one-on-one -on -one with the student. The amount of time teachers and students spend assessing is preposterous. One literacy, math, social studies, and science assessment is sufficient. I have other uh, suggestions, including scheduling flexibility, more mental health resources, and staff in our schools, but I recognize that my three minutes is up. We work in the nation's capital and our school should be exemplary, exemplary, but instead we lead the country in teacher turnover. The issues connected to teacher retention cannot be solved with our current governance system. We need a standalone education committee ready to take action to address these issues. And that means also having hearings after 4 p.m. so that actual educators can attend. Please reinstate the standalone committee in education. And overall, we need educators, not politicians, without any professional education with educational experience in charge, and that means ending mayoral control. Thank you for listening.